So we got the x-rays off to the farrier, so he's looked over those and he's glad we got those so he can figure out how to get the correct angles. There she is. Hey, Charlie! Oh, great. There they go. It took me and the farrier to catch her. That was crazy. So looking at the x-rays. Looking at the x-rays, as I was telling you last time, Go with, see how it's it's rotated down? Yeah. It's supposed to actually be sitting with the hoof. Yeah, so it looks like the heel just needs to drop down a bit more, right? Yep. Bruise on her frog. Is that new? Yeah, that right there. It's all, I mean, it's not brand new, but it wasn't there last time we did it. Right. It's definitely bruised now. How does that happen? Steps on something. Looks like a rock and a soft back. spot. Yeah. Let's see if we can rotate him back a little bit. Really gonna try to set him down and try to get them coffin bones. That, that coffin bone where it's supposed to be. Charlie, this is your pedicure. So, so many people ask, what do horses do in the wild? Like, how do their hooves get trimmed in the wild? Mostly because of their habitat, where they run, rocks, they wear them down. Um, what happens if a horse founders in the wild and, and they go start getting overgrown? The chances, especially here in Utah, of that happening are slim to none. Because it's just not... Because of the feed. Right. And they're running out on a desert where they're searching for feed, not just getting it, but... Once we round them up and bring them in for adoption, that's where you start running into the problem because then we bring them in and start feeding them alfalfa. And we do the same thing. So the reason that I have a job is because we domesticated horses. Because in the wild they just chip off on rocks and stuff. Yeah, they wear them on their own. Do founder for some reason or something. Then that's one that... They're just going to die probably. Yeah, that's one that nature's going to take care of or if we round it up, they're going to call in somebody to come take care of it over at the holding pen. Usually when we bring them in, when they do a round up, we, uh, they do call in a farrier to come, a farrier and a vet to come look at them. So I'm not going to cut him back as far on the toe this time as I have in the past because I really want to concentrate on starting to rotate that coffin bone. Now that we've got his toes back, I did cut him back. I really want to start setting him back and rotating that. So that will correct the coffin bone down inside. Mm -hmm. but yeah, wild horses tend to take care of themselves. We're domesticated horses. We, we tend to uh, feed them the wrong stuff or overfeed them or... Give them rich, lots of rich feed or... Even on like spring grass, like that's greener and stuff, I guess in the desert it's not going to be that. Yeah, it's still not going to be as rich as what we do here. We're not adding fertilizers and the only ones I've ever seen come in off the desert that were not great were wild burrows like a donkey oh, okay some of them that I've seen come in have had some feed issues Yeah, there's some lessons. So I think that first video we did, it's got over 200,000 views now. Wow. Can you believe that? Mm, a lot of people out there do care. Yeah. And the big thing is with this guy, if you hadn't stepped in, he'd have probably been lost by this time. Oh, really? Yeah, his feet would have been so far gone we wouldn't have probably been able to do too much with him. Wow. So this time we left him a little bit longer on the toe. I didn't take any off the bottom of the toe, I just took him back on the toe. But we took a ton of heel to kind of match what the x-ray was showing, how far rotated he was and how much I had to set him down on his heels. And then I just took the toe and brought it back from the front. So what he'll do is we'll, we'll watch him over the next couple weeks and make sure that uh, that's what he's doing and we'll be able to tell now that we have the, the the first set of x-rays we probably won't x-ray him tell maybe towards the end of his but we'll be able to tell by the way he walks if if he's like this time as he was running around you could see him short step so every time every time he'd step in that pointed hit he'd short step 
whether or not we've actually set that, rotated that coffin bone down closer to where it's supposed to be. Let me watch her walk. All right. See if I need to make any more corrections. That looks like she's stepping more correct now. Yes. Yeah, I actually like the way she's walking. And that's why I wanted the x-rays, because she was still short stepping, so I wanted to know what kind of rotation we had to deal with. So this time, I want to hit her again in about four weeks, just to drop the heel, suck toe. See how she's short stepping? So instead of taking a full step, she thought, and then all of a sudden she just puts that foot down and then goes with the next one. Really, based off the x-ray, she's we set her down a long ways on her heels this time. Before, we couldn't do that. I mean, her feet were so long and so out of balance and whack. It was basically getting them under control the first two, couple times. But yeah, the x-rays definitely helped. Like I told you when I got here, I was surprised she was running just the way that was pointing down. She wanted to keep up with her buddies, but she was still short-stepping. And this time, it's on me. Are you sure? We'll call this one my contribution. Okay, well thank you. Appreciate that. Otherwise, we'll see you in four Mondays. Hey, Jeff! You can I, swim now. Yeah, I just go like this, and I and and my arms move my head a little bit, so I swim. Good. You want to jump in the pond and swim? Show us how. No, <laughs> that would be way too cool. Ephraim, did you learn how to swim? Yeah. Oh, sis. Oh, in there. Looking so good. Just go around what we did is set him down based on the x-rays with the coffin bones and what I do with him. He's so good. Good normal horse. Right, I'm going to get to my next appointment. All right. Well, thank you. See you back in about four weeks. Yeah. All right. Working miracles. Well, it's amazing to see how far we've come from the first time me trimming it back as much as I could with the saws all. So now we've got a farrier x-rays so if you want to watch the whole process from start to finish um, click right here i'll have a playlist where you can watch the whole thing but those x-rays really helped us uh, figure out how to get them right appreciate all those who have donated to the gofundme campaign to help rescue this horse the gofundme campaign was why we were able to pay for this x-ray so i really appreciate you helping out that is cooper scoop i'll see you next time